guys, it's Nira from Phone Arena and in front of us we've got the Galaxy S4 Active. Now what we're going to do is show you a couple of underwater tests. Now the S4 Active is the waterproof, the durable version of the Galaxy S4. In design it's almost identical. The only key difference is it's a little bit thicker and it obviously features waterproof and dustproofing. Now we know that the S4 Active holds its antennas at the top and the bottom. So what we're going to do here is open a video which we've downloaded which is Transformers Dark of the Moon to make sure we've got full brightness, we have. Pop it halfway in the middle of the... So we're now watching Transformers and whilst that continues to play we've got a jug of water here and now we're just going to pop it down making sure that all the ports have been covered yes and that the back cover is firmly secure yes it is let's pop it head first in As you can see, it continues to still play the video. But why, what happens if we switch it around to where the micro USB port is? It's not a sign you ever want to see on any smartphone unless it's waterproof, water dripping off it like it does there. Let's turn it around. And you'll see, although it's much more muted because the speaker is now underwater, it continues to play and you can just hear a little bit of sound escaping. However, we can hear what you think. However, putting it in either side isn't really how you're going to drop it in water, is it? I mean, for most people, dropping it in the water will usually be whilst whether you're out in, and it drops in a puddle, you might have it in your pocket walking past the swimming pool, or, and everyone's done it, you may drop it down the toilet. So what we're going to do now is take it out of this, give it a bit of a shake to get rid of all the water. And I'm not sure if you just heard that. The speaker quality was definitely a lot louder from when we before we put the bottom part in and there's also a little bit of crackle on the speaker which you may have just heard there it does seem that the S5 just struggles to get the speaker and the speaker does sound very distorted let's give this a quick wipe and a quick wipe later The speaker's there. The main thing we wanted to test though is what happens when you put it all underwater. So now we're going to do just that. As you can see, working clear perfectly, albeit a little um, crackly. Underwater it goes. And it continues to work and you can just about hear some sound. But what happens when I want to change it? So let's go to the home screen. And with other waterproof smartphones such as the Xperia Z, we've noticed that you can't actually use them underwater. How, is this Galaxy S4 any diff active any different? And the answer 
sadly, is no. The weirdest thing is, earlier in our trial run of this test, it actually did work. However, it does seem to be, like a lot of features, intermittent to say the least. Take this back out. You see it's dripping a lot of water. And even now, with wet hands, it fails to be recognised. So we need to give this a little wipe down. Let's get rid of the water bath. We're back and with a completely dry hand, you can see it just about works. So the Galaxy S4 Active does survive our underwater test. And as you can see, still continues to work like the normal Galaxy S4 would. If you've got a history of breaking phones, dropping them, or even the odd um, water mishap, and you're considering the Galaxy S4, we would highly recommend you look at the Galaxy S4 Active. Although there are certain feature differences, mainly an 8 megapixel camera and slightly thicker design compared to the slimmer Galaxy S4 which has a 13 megapixel camera, the benefits of having liquid water resistance and dust proofing should outweigh anything you lose. Thanks for watching and please like, comment and subscribe.